Welcome back into the Statesman Insider here on Clyde Berryfield in Arkadelphia, Arkansas with senior catcher Patrick Taylor. Now you guys were able to split the series today in, in day one of the series with Henderson State, losing the first game 5-4 to four and then coming back and winning it 4-1. to one. What does this do for the team? I, I know we wanted to sweep here to, to assure the number one seed, but I mean, splitting, what does that do for the team here? Um, well, since there was a uh, three-way tie for first, um, we may we still have a chance to win the West and uh, have the same record as two other teams, which we have this, the series over both of them. So we would be the one seed in the tournament. But it would be nice to um, you know to have the outright uh, West Division championship. Either way, a win or lose, hopefully it's going to be a win tomorrow. We are in the conference tournament, and we've seen a lot of these teams are all throughout the year. And you know, what's the strategy going in? What is Coach going to do in place to just get a, make a good run in this Gulf South Conference tournament and up that regional standing? Um, I think our pitching is just our, our strong point right now. Um, we'll, we'll be in the conference tournament no matter what we do tomorrow, but um, it'd be nice to get that one seed so we could play the four seed from the other side and, and kind of rely on our pitching to carry us through that. We got um, David Mooney's throwing really well. Newcomb's throwing the last four times he's thrown. It's just been phenomenal. Um, Josh Brandstetter's been throwing lights out. Harden's arm's feeling a lot better. So I think if we um, put ourselves in the right position, we'll, we'll be able to go through deep in the tournament. Now you as a senior, you've been here uh, four years, and you've, you've gone through many of these tournaments with the success of Delta State, and this has been an up-and-down year. What are you going to tell the, the new guys, the newcomers, a lot of the young guys going into the Gulf South Conference to be prepared for? Um, anything can happen in the, in the Commerce Tournament. Like last year we saw, we, we were sitting pretty good going into the tournament, and uh, just like last year, just with the one-run games, we uh, kept losing the one-run games, and um, just anybody can play. You, anybody can beat anybody at a given time in that tournament. So we just got to come to play and, and be focused. Good luck, and thanks for your time there, Patrick. Thank you. And that senior catcher, Patrick Taylor, will go to Jimmy Smith, who's standing by with head coach Mike Kennison. Thanks, Kobe. Here with head coach Mike Kennison. And coach, is not the situation the Statesman wanted to be in this weekend. Wanted to kind of sit back, kick our legs up, win some baseball games. Now we have to sit back. We can still kick our legs up a little bit. We have to scoreboard watch. After losing the first game 5-4, to four, the bats did not come out to play. Uh, Josh Brandstetter got hit on early there. 3-1 to one lead. Henderson State took. Then slowly, slowly chipped back. Big hit did not exist in game 1. It came back out in game 2. But take us through game 1. I know you're very upset with the guys. They had it in their hands. Just with 15 runners left on base, you don't win a lot of baseball games that way. No, and you don't win a lot when you give up 13 hits. I thought Josh today was very flat. I thought he mislocated pitches repeatedly. You know, he hung in there and he went, you know, he went eight innings and, uh, you know, had a great chance to win it. But for those that have seen Josh, we know that's not him at the top of his game. I thought his stuff was flat and I thought he really mislocated and left, you know, left some balls up, particularly some home run balls that, you know, really put us down early. Um, the frustration, though, really is, as you said, in those 15 runners we left on base. Repeatedly, we have guys come up to the plate with runners in scoring position, a chance to break the game wide open. Just didn't get it done. We paid for it. Newcomb goes those seven innings, gets five strikeouts, just the four hits. Offensively, though, the Statesman in game two got an RBI from Bozeman on a double, RBI from Robilac and Craig Herman and, and also from John Carnahan. But Craig Herman, I think offensively, is the story of these two games. He had three hits. He walked three times and was hit by a pitch. He was perfect on base to the both games. When you needed him, he kept getting the hits. It's just unfortunate nobody was on for him sometimes. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, the, t the hits were a little more timely in game two. We had that nice inning that stretched our lead from two to one to four to one and let Aaron breathe a little bit. Uh, not quite sure he knew how to pitch with a more than one run lead. You know, it hadn't been so long since he's been in so many one run games. But, you know, he's got to refocus and come back and play tomorrow. Uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, we can't change today. I'm really disappointed. I always am when we split a doubleheader. You know, our our program and the tradition our program wasn't built on splitting a doubleheader, and everybody on our team knows that. And I told them after the game, they don't expect me to be happy when we uh, split a doubleheader. I am proud of the win, proud of Newcomb's performance. Coach, what's the message for guys in game three? Obviously, there's more than the GSC. We're in that tournament. That's fine and dandy. But at the seventh spot of the, of the regional tournament, some can say you're on the outside looking in. Your spot isn't guaranteed with conference winners and so on and so forth. What's the message to the guys needing a big regional win? You know, we don't want to put ourselves into a position where we have to go into the conference tournament and get to the final day and all of that. We need to, 
you know, again, um, losses like last Sunday at Harding, not, you know, they're a very good club, but we had a great chance to win that game and let it get away from us. And then game one today, I thought we had opportunities to win and just couldn't get that hit at the right time, didn't make the play at the right time, and uh, we paid for it. Coach, thank you. We'll look to win the series tomorrow. Thank you.